Hello everyone, in this video I'll be going through different personal training education and ranking them on a tier list. So there's many different certifications here, I'm going to break them down. What belongs in the S tier, what's going to go in the F tier. First off, we have Precision Nutrition. I don't like starting off these tier lists with a perfect review, but I've taken Precision Nutrition and I have learned a lot about nutrition. It is the best as far as nutrition certifications go. It's very in-depth, there's two levels to it, you can do a PN1 or PN2. I finished the PN1. It took me like half a year. I really put a lot of time and effort into learning everything about it, and it has benefited me a lot. There's also a lot of different uh, handouts that you can give to clients, so they do a lot of the work for you. You're fully able to brand their stuff as well, so if you're looking for something to give out to clients, PN's got it. Precision Nutrition, solid. Next, we got NASM. NASM CPT, it's a very high-quality one. I've hired people in the past that were NASM certified, and they knew their stuff. So I think it goes in the A tier because it is a quality, uh, reputable source. Next, we got a Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science. Um, I think that's S tier too. If you've gone through university for education in uh, exercise science, you're going to know your stuff pretty well. That's not guaranteed, but if you've taken the time to do a four-year degree in this, I'm sure you're going to know quite a bit. I have hired people as well that have had BS in uh, exercise science, and they knew their stuff very, very well. Next, we got the Idea World Fitness Convention. I've looked this up, and I can't say that it is like amazing by any means. I'm going to put it in C tier and uh, just based off my research. I don't know a whole lot about it. But there wasn't a whole lot of education out there on it, so I don't think it's that intensive. Next, we got massage therapy. It's there twice for some reason. I'm going to put that in B tier. Uh, massage therapy is important because it's good for people that need to really release some of that tension in their muscles. It's not directly related to personal training, but if you're a massage therapist, you're going to help out with overall fitness, so that's important. Functional movement systems. This is another really good one. Um, they specialize in overall functionality of movement, so that applies to pretty much everyone in a gen population. Um, so from beginners even all the way up to athletes, you get to know a lot in this uh, in this certification. So pretty high quality. I've known people that have taken, and they have lots of great things to say. Next, we got exercise science degree. Um, I don't know. I think if like if this is similar, I'm just going to put those both in the S tier, exercise science degree versus a BS of exercise science. Um, yeah, if it's like if it's a college degree, then maybe below university. But yeah, that's where I'd put it. Next, we got the online training academy. It's pretty good. Um, oh, can't remember the owner's name right off the top of my head, but it is a reputable source. Um, it's on here three times for some reason. I'm just going to drag this to the back. No, maybe I'll put this one. Online Training Academy is really good for people because there is a large presence of online training out there. So knowing how to do it online, very important because not everyone's going to be in person when it comes to personal training, especially if you're doing it on your own, not working out of a gym. Knowing how to train people online, super important. Next, we got ISSA. ISSA is a really popular one as well. I'm going to throw that up there. Someone's around there in the A tier. Uh, ISSA, I've hired a lot of people that have sort of been certified through ISSA really quality program and there's a lot of different avenues you can go there's like a nutrition route um you can specialize in different styles of training i think ISSA is pretty good alongside that i'd also say ace is kind of comparable to ISSA. i find a lot of people compare the two of them i actually helped someone study for an ace uh personal training certificate they passed it they learned a lot and i'd say it's pretty good quality so yeah i'm gonna put those both in the a tier next we got stretch coach like a million times I looked into this and it's just about stretching, which is important, but I'm going to put that in the C tier. It's not like game changing by any means, but definitely can help out. And then finally, we got the NSCA CPT. I'm going to put this one in the S tier as well. From um, just overall training, people usually get NSCA after getting like a college degree. I'm pretty sure you do require to have some posts post-secondary education in order to be able to take the NSCA CPT, a certified personal trainer. So but then the S tier, anyone I've hired that has NSCA certifi a certification in that has always been quite knowledgeable. So S tier. I just have a bunch of the repeats down here, but that is my tier list on personal training education. Uh, starting out first, I have PN, Precision Nutrition. 
best nutrition certification out there. And then also in the S tier, having a Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science or a degree in it. And then NSCA, CPT. Now some CPT as well in the A tier with ISA, ACE, FMS, and Online Trainer Academy. So any of these are going to be quality picks. And then more of the niche picks here. I didn't put anything in the F tier because I think education as a whole is pretty good. And there was no real bad education out there. So yeah, that is where I'd put these personal training certificate on the E tier list. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments where you'd place these. And I will see you in the next video.